Hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to Five and Eats. All right, guys, today we have got an interesting item for you. This is available both at Sam's Club and Costco. We picked ours up at Sam's Club. Now, the packaging is very slightly different for both, but they're the same product. It is Gary's Quick Steak since 1981. Real steak, real fast, 100% sirloin beef, thinly sliced all natural thinly sliced steak, nine servings per package. Now this does come in three kind of like little vacuum sealed thingies. Which is nice. Yes, and then each steak or each package breaks apart into three steaks. And you also get a little packet of seasoning in each package. Which they call wow seasoning. Yes, and all of that for $14.98 at Sam's Club. So the price is, you know, a little pricey, but then again, it is sirloin. Uh -huh. Now the thing is this Suggest you can make Philly cheesesteak. Mm -hmm. Looks like some uh, like a, a rice and broccoli bowl. Like a Japanese kind of thing. Uh huh. So they give you some suggestions, and so this is something Costco and Sam's Club both carry. What I love about it is, in order for both places to have it, Gary has to make the packaging slightly different. Yep. That's the difference, which mm -hmm. has got to be very frustrating for these companies because. It just drives up the cost. Exactly, like, which why they not? pass on to the consumer. Exactly, so just stop at Costco, Sam's Club. Just keep it simple, help drive the price down by making these companies just stick to one packaging. Yes, and to also keep it simple, if you guys would like to know how to make this, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc., where I walk you through the steps. And it's kind of good, because you can see what this looks like while it's cooking, because it is a little interesting looking. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically, we review everyday grocery items, so before you spend your hard-earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. Let's try this out. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right, guys, welcome back. Our rating system. Thumbs up, we buy it again. Thumbs down, we would not. So for me, this is a thumbs up. You know what this tastes like? What? An Italian beef. Mm. So most people outside of Chicago, I would say, think of deep dish when they think of our city, right? Mm -hmm. But I've always felt the true representation of our food is an Italian beef. It's very similar to a Philly cheesesteak, except it's dipped in au jus. You can have hot peppers on it, which is the way I like having it. And also you can have cheese or sweet peppers on there, but most people get hot peppers on there. But this meat, that's what this reminded me of, an Italian beef. So that's what I would buy this for to make home homemade Italian beef. Because mm -hmm. I feel like Around here, when you go to the grocery store, the companies that sell Italian beef to make at home just doesn't taste right. Mm -hmm. So this is pretty good. Thumbs up. All right, before I give my rating, I would just like to say that this bowl that we started out with at least, that was the equivalent of one vacuum sealed package that had three steaks in it. So this bowl was three steaks worth. Do you think that that would make three sandwiches or do you think that it would make less? I think it would probably make six. Really? Yeah. Now, it's not going to be generously packed in there, though, mm -hmm. the meat. Because I'm looking at the, the, the sandwich on the cover, and I'm like, that might only make, like, one and a half or two. I think that's a hungry man's portion that, right there. That is, for sure. So, with that being said, this is going to be a thumbs up. I like this. It is definitely not, like, super premium, like, high-quality fresh from the restaurant kind of meat. But for it to be a frozen meat product that looks kind of hinky whenever you're making it, like, yeah. like it looked real weird, it actually turned out pretty good. And the seasoning, at first I was thinking like, how is this gonna be? But I think it actually turned out really nice. Like it's got, I think, paprika and some other stuff in there. Yeah, so they call it wow seasoning. Mm -hmm. And the good thing is on the back, it tells you exactly what those seasonings are. Yeah. So it's not like secret ingredients. So yeah. if you want to make this at home without buying their meat and all that, mm -hmm. you could. Yeah, exactly. And they also sell the seasoning on its own. I saw that on their website. So anyway, to the meat, there are some portions where it does have a little bit of fat on there. Not terrible though. I did not encounter any like really gnarly bits or any hard bits or anything like that, which is always a plus in a packaged meat product. I think overall this is good. And I think for me, 
I would probably actually use this in like a quesadilla or something, as opposed to putting it on a sandwich, because I don't have Italian beef that often, but I would definitely do like this on a pita or a quesadilla or something. To sum it up, thumbs up, thumbs up. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.